Cooking Crave, brought to you by ENG Lending, your area's number one choice for home loans, 456loan.com. Coming up on today's show, we have a pork chop recipe that your family's sure to love this winter, and we have an apple recipe that is so simple, so easy, everybody's going to love it. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Fitterer. And I'm Laverne Didi. And you found a creamy smothered ranch pork chop recipe. Yeah. I can't sounds, wait to try this. Sounds pretty good. If you want to go ahead and cook along with us today, just grab a piece of paper and a pen and write down these ingredients. You're going to need a tablespoon of butter, a small onion, two to four pork chop, pork chop loins, an eighth teaspoon pepper, a cup of chicken broth, a third cup of chive and onion cream cheese, mm -hmm. or I suppose you can make your own. I would think you could. All right. Two teaspoons of ranch salad dressing and two cups of cooked egg noodles. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Okay. And this apple recipe you've made, I don't know for how many years, it's so simple, but for those it's of you that you know love cinnamon apples, this is just the, the best, best way to do it. it. You're gonna wanna have eight to 10 cups of peeled cored apples, six ounces of cinnamon imperials, the little red candies, and a, ta a tablespoon of water. That's it. But Can't get it much is easier than that. But it's so good. It is. They're divine. Yeah. I love them. We know that we don't have to make things hard to be good. Right. So where are we'll we going to start today? Well, we want to get the apples in the uh, kettle here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my apples. So I have cored them and peeled. And with, I got half of that in there. And I want to put the cinnamon candies in there so that they're kind of in the middle so that they melt. Okay. And... I, I got a six ounce bag with eight to ten cups. I usually use, you know, the whole bag with okay. that. So I'm going to just add all that in there. I mean, this cooks down, but that's quite a few apples you got going in there. It is, but it, it really does cook down. And what you want to do is you want to watch it, you know. Um, the apples don't take very long to make, I mean, to get soft. So you can cook it to where it's almost like an applesauce. You okay. know, they get very soft. Or if you want the apples, um, you know, still kind of like in chunks, just kind of watch so that you don't overcook it. Though. Okay. And just so we've got that on, and I'm just going to put the lid on for that. And so you already had a little bit of water in there. You know, I had kind of the water in uh, with the uh, peeling the apples. Oh, okay. And that, so I didn't want to add. And be careful, you know. I have myself thought, oh, you're putting all those apples in. I need, you know, water. And then I end up with, uh, you know, a little bit softer, watery than I like, the, you know, the apples. So, and if you're a little bit concerned and, and know that your apples don't have a lot of moisture, do put that little tablespoon of water in there just to, so your kettle doesn't get too hot and dry on the bottom. Okay, so, sounds good. So now we're going to start with the pork chops. Okay. This is really awesome. You're going to start with a tablespoon of butter. And I got this in here ready. Wanted to get my pan nice and hot. And we want to brown those onions. Okay. Okay, I'm going to lift that off a little bit because it is pretty warm. Get that butter melted. And the butter browned a little bit, which is fine because we want the onions uh, actually to get, to get a little brown. You okay. know, we're going to cook them about five to ten minutes. See? Okay, well, we, we put our a cup of onions in here. We we didn't want to chop them real fine. We kind of quartered them a little bit here. And so in the butter, now they're just, um, you want to saute them for about five minutes. Okay. And, you know, our butter, our pan was a little bit probably hotter than I should have. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess uh, the butter started to brown just a little bit. Okay. But that was okay because we do want the onions to have, uh, to get brown a little bit and it'll have that brown butter taste to it. So. Okay. And as soon as that's done and they're almost uh, browned already, you're just trying to get them a little tender and brown, we're going to um, remove the onions and then we're going to add the pork chops just right into the same pan. Okay. But while that's still going, what we're going to do here is we're going to season our pork chops with some pepper. Um, it doesn't ask for any salt for the fact that, you know, we're going to be putting in... Uh, 
you know, the cream cheese with the chives and uh, onion there. And we have the, the chicken stock. And that has definitely That's, the salt in it. So. Sure. So just put as much, well, it says about an eighth teaspoon of pepper, which I probably have a little bit more, but you know how I like pepper. So. I know, I know. You know, I think that's always uh, so good. So uh, just another moment here. And I did start uh, the water here for, we're going to cook a couple of, some egg noodles. Okay. Um, one thing with this, I mean, we're going to uh, feature it over um, egg noodles, but it would be great with mashed potatoes or... You know, probably you can make even, it with rice too. Even with rice, anything that your family family loves. There's no doubt noodles are easy. Right, takes a little bit less time than mashed potatoes, but uh, that all would be good. So, and like I said, now we're kind of seeing that our potato. I mean, potatoes. After I'm talking about <laughs> mashed potatoes, our onions are uh, sautéed nicely, and we're going to put them in a bowl okay. just to remove them. And I'm gonna leave some, you know, there'll be some uh, butter and that in here from the, uh, that we don't have to ask, add extra uh, shortening or anything like that. Okay. So, but I do wanna make sure I wipe the side of that so it doesn't burn, so. Okay. And we're gonna add the pork chops and we're gonna just brown them for a couple of minutes on both sides. Okay. Uh, they're not very thick and you know, if, it's great also to have uh, pork chops in, in the bone sometimes. It gives, you know, a little extra different flavoring. Sure. Or whatever, but I do have just the regular pork loin. So we're going to just put them in here. And once we get these sautéed and browned, then we're going to remove them and we're going to make our sauce with the um, stock there, chicken stock and the cream cheese okay. and, uh, and the ranch dressing. We don't want to forget that. Okay. That's going to just add an awesome flavoring Absolutely. to all of it in there and stuff. And pork chops do not take long to, to cook really. And that's so if we do a couple of moment, minutes on both sides and then we're going to remove them and then when we have the actually the sauce made we're going to add put them back in there and then maybe just simmer it cover it for about five minutes and they'll be ready to go all right that sounds great so it's not a meal that's going to take very long at all and that now that the pan has cooled down a little bit after putting the pork chops in i'm going to just add, turn it up a little bit okay um i did my water here for the noodles and i did add salt in the water anytime i make noodles or rice I like to add a little bit of salt because okay. it really makes a difference. So I might have a little bit more than two cups, but that's okay. You can always use noodles. Absolutely. Add a little butter too, and it's a kid's favorite meal. Yeah. That is so true. Is so. I might just add a little. I mean, put a little bit of more time. I mean, heat on the apples so that. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. It does not take very long at all. And, and what's great, this is apple season. You it know, is. I have had some, you know, seen some awesome apples out there. And uh, someone gave me some apples. And I can say your name, Shirley Andrus. Thank you. Now <laughs> i got cinnamon apples here. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Or whatever. So it's pretty neat, you know, when you can get those apples. Okay, just want to brown that just a little bit more. And you know, I think I'm just probably might add a, a touch of butter okay. in here. And that just to bring that up, a, is to brown that a little bit more. Not much, just, you know, maybe a, a teaspoon here, put that in there. And as you notice, we're not... Um, breading the pork chops because when we add them back into that sauce the breading which just basically come off you know would be sure too much so you just want to brown them without the breading okay and that's well we certainly can come back with our viewers when our pork chops is are browned on both sides yeah okay well let's just turn it here a little bit there
and they said pork chops about three quarters of an inch. It it's up to to you, you know, you just know if it's a little bit thicker, cook them a little longer, even if it's not, just make sure that you make sure they're done. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Country Rose Cafe on East Villard is open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week. Enjoy daily homemade specials, caramel and cinnamon rolls, several different kinds of homemade pies made fresh every day. Country Rose Cafe is also famous for homemade soup, including their ever popular Nefla served every Tuesday. While you're in, make sure to pick up your Channel 18 cooking crave recipes and like us on Facebook for different specials and announcements. Country Rose Cafe, the way a cafe should be, located at 837 East Villard in Dickinson. Well, I turned over the pork chops, and of course the side that we have the pepper on looks a little darker, so we're going to leave that a moment. Um, you know, in between with your apples, uh, definitely do stir that just so that you get those uh, cinnamon hots kind of mixed so that they melt. Okay. But they don't take long at all to melt up there, but... You can just smell that cinnamon too. It's just you pretty, can. Pretty it's awesome. So a candied apple, it is, and, and so easy. You don't need to add other sugar, anything like that. That's just great. Just stir the noodles. We'll give them another minute. But what we're going to do is uh, take off our pork chops. Okay. And I do have a clean plate here. I you don't want to use the same plate, of course, that you took off took the raw pork chops off and that. I'm going to turn down the burner just a little bit there that might be hot I'm going to set them over here just put that lid on them just to keep them warm okay and that so so what I'm going to do is add my chicken stock because my pan's pretty warm I'm going to add it just slowly Okay, there. So we got that in there. Okay. We'll put it. And now um, the eight ounces of... You're kidding. I can't believe it. <laughs> where's the Where's the towel? <laughs> I'm trying to fan when you were pouring that in there. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no more. There's nothing else that's going to do that. <laughs> Promise. Kind of. Okay, are we ready to go? Uh, oh. Never ready. Oh, okay. Well, our chicken stock to, so, certainly is hot here, so we're going to add our cream cheese. And it's a, a, an eight, of, eight ounce carton, so that's, but with that, uh, Ch uh, onion and chives in there that's going to be a really a good flavor and until we add our ranch okay it's gonna definitely like I said make it a, a good good flavoring it'll be a little Absolutely. awesome over those noodles so we have that in there and then let's add our two teaspoons of ranch dressing And I, like I said, buy the bulk, but if you have to open a package, just take out two teaspoons. And are we doing teaspoons or tablespoons? That's a teaspoon. Okay. Yeah. So then let's just stir this a little bit. And I'll probably give this to you just to stir that gently here. And sure. Because I want to check my noodles. And those are done, so I'll turn that burner off. And I'm going to just take them over here to strain. Okay. So those do 
turtles are nice and hot there. And let's kind of just check our apples here because it's starting to really kind of boil up a little bit here. And most and of the cinnamon hots are definitely melted already. Uh, that's such an easy, quick thing, but it's a, it's a, those a cinnamon apples go over so well with almost anything you can cook. It's a nice add for it a is. holiday meal. It's bright and colorful. And they're good hot and they're good cold. So, you know, it's definitely about done. I'm going to turn off the burner and just uh, leave them set there. Okay. Whatever, and you, you've gotten that nice and mixed. And we just want to bring, bring that to a nice boil. It's going to thicken a little bit. Uh, you know, on there, we don't have to add extra thickening, but it's going to thicken a little bit there okay. with the cream cheese in there. And let's see. So that didn't take too long for you to get that cream cheese melted in there. No, not at all. And so, but that's going to make, an, like I said, a very good uh, flavorful gravy over the the egg noodles and stuff, so... Getting that to boil there. And so what I'm going to do then, we're, we'll add the pork chops in and I'm going to put the lid on and put maybe timer on for about five minutes. Okay. Because the pork chops, they weren't that thick and that should be just about right for them to be done. Okay. So, and this is starting to boil here, bringing that temperature up. So we'll just... Set that aside here. And now we're gonna put the pork chops back in. And do we just put the onions on top of the pork chops then? You know, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> we need, let's just put the onions in here. Okay. And just mix that up, because yes, we're gonna add the onions and the pork chops together. All right, there we go. I knew there was a reason I always have you with me. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. <laughs> okay. So let's just bring that down here. And I'm going to turn the burner down just a little bit, you know, because we've got that heat already on the pan, and, uh, and that burner is going to stay quite warm. Okay. So we don't want to have that get too hot and we're going to go ahead and cover that and I'm going to set the timer for about five minutes and that's all it's going to to take there okay and then we'll be back but that already just is looking pretty delicious it smells great too yes very much so okay we'll be back with our viewers shortly See your VA home loan expert at ENG Lending of Dickinson. Jay Wandler and the professional staff at ENG Lending provide expertise and services that are traditionally offered by the largest financial institutions, all with the local integrity of a local community bank. No wonder why ENG Lending is the area's number one choice for North Dakota veteran home loans. Visit them online at 456loan.com or call 701-250-8166 today. We had that cooking about for five minutes. Okay. And I've turned off the burner, uh, and I'm going, I'm going to turn off the burner and just, you know, just let it set for about a minute just to, for that to thicken a little bit. Okay. And then we'll just, but we're going to take it off burner and bring it over to the counter here while that's thickening there a little bit. Okay. And we can just set that here. And then I'm going to bring the uh, apples too, because there we had said we were turning that off and we're going to bring them over here and just probably set them over here so the viewers can see better. Um, it was maybe about 15 minutes that we were cooking those and definitely are soft and there's still some chunks but yet just a little bit of you know where it's uh, not like an applesauce but right. that's going to be it's just great. Apples. It's still apples and the cinnamon's all melted. Like I said, you know, nothing easier. You have the flavor, you have your sugar, you don't have to add anything. It's just ready to go. So right. pretty good. 
Uh, what I did with the noodles, I, I did put a little butter in there. Okay. So I'll, I'll bring it excuse me, over here. And we'll just put some in here. Okay. Top that there. And I'll put it on there. And so we're going to just see those pork chops, how awesome they look. Um, I'm going to just, I can use my spoon here. I'm going to put a pork chop on top of that. And we want to definitely put some of that awesome oh, gravy on it gravy on it and stuff here that's going to be excellent there all right so we can and just so that you know with the gravy in that we're not going to put the apples on the same plate we're going to just feature them in a another plate here and just to well i think the show. apples are a good dessert too they don't you don't always have to have you know, a pie or cake or something. I think this is an excellent dessert it, to yes. this meal. Well, it's a good accent to it. That is for sure. Right. We got yeah. some powerful color here. It is. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> right. And two simple recipes. Um, you know, obviously the apples don't take a lot of time. You just nope. have to, probably the most work was coring them and peeling them. That's right. You yes. know, before putting them in the kettle. Mm -hmm. um, again, another super recipe with pork chops. It smells awesome. I always mm. wish our viewers could could get a whiff of these things. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, just to uh, mention to the viewers, too, you know, your homegrown apples, mm -hmm. your Harrelsons and stuff that are most popular in this area, uh, this area, you know, they are a little bit more tart, and that's where it just makes it great for the cinnamon apples. Uh, I wouldn't use a sweeter apple, definitely not a, like a delicious apple or whatever, because okay. you want a little bit of that. You know, tart, tart and stuff for that. So, all right, great, just... great tips. All right, to get these recipes, just go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel.com. Please submit your recipes for us to cook for you. When you do, your name goes into the drawing for an awesome Cooking Crave apron. Join us next week on Cooking Crave when we do it all over again. Mm -hmm.